Doctor in Search of Daleks, Time Lords and the TARDIS at the latest Doctor Who convention. <laughs> It's been 30 years since the first episode of Doctor Who was ever made, and there's plenty going on to celebrate. I'm here at a convention for the dedicated Doctor Who enthusiast. The Doctor was a Time Lord who deserted his home planet to go and explore the universe. There were seven Doctors. The first one was William Hartnell. Well, everything appears to be all right, yes? He stole this TARDIS as a means of transport. TARDIS means, incidentally, time and relative dimensions in space. Ooh. It's very large in here, isn't it? <laughs> ah, yes, we're dimensionally transcendental. Ooh. We're bigger on the inside than we are on the outside. Which so... is very painful. <laughs> <laughs> John, what's it like to be back in the TARDIS? Oh, it's great. Well, one could, we're never away from it for very long. <laughs> Why do you think the programme has been, and still is, so successful? Uh, I think probably because people like to get the hell out of the kitchen sink and they like uh, science fiction, they go off into realms of fantasy, wouldn't you say? Yes, definitely. It's very gentle and very warm. Yeah. Katie, I, I always felt, as Joe Grant, the assistant, that you were often the brains behind a lot of it, dare I say, but you never got much of the credit. You're always the assistant. How did you feel about that? I loved it. I mean, you know, I'd if, if one's talking about being an actor, I'd rather be the feed than uh -huh. the funny man, if you know what I mean. Right. The great thing about a convention like this is you get to see the models and all the original costumes close up. I mean, I was terrified of a Cyberman, but close up, they don't look frightening at all, do they? Oh! I see the Time Lord have emotional feelings. Of sorts. Surely a great weakness in one so powerful. Emotions have their uses. They restrict and curtail the intellect and logic of the mind. They also enhance life. When did you last have the pleasure of smelling a flower, watching a sunset, eating a well-prepared meal? These things are irrelevant. For some people, small, beautiful events is what life is all about. Now, there have been many successful television programmes, but few have maintained their popularity for three decades. So, what is it that's so special about Doctor Who? Oh, gosh, that's the tricky one. Um, I don't know, I think it's escapism. Uh, the world out there is such an awful place, you know, with wars and famine. It's nice to be able to forget your troubles and enjoy the programme. Well, the fascination for me personally is its variety. We've come all the way from Australia for this convention. It is as much an institution there. It's been being repeated for years and years and years. It captures everybody on some level. It has within it something that everybody can relate to. And it's always moved with the times. <laughs> Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh, you're not going to exterminate me, are you? No, no, I was just practising. You're quite a nice chap, really, aren't you? Hello, uh, Steve Watley from This Morning. Good morning, I am Salvador Dalek. Now, Sylvester, you were the last Doctor. Yep, the ultimate. The ultimate? Yeah, someone really once wrote that in a paper and said, the ultimate Doctor, I thought, wow, that must be something really nice. I looked it up, it just means the last Doctor. Oh, does it? <laughs> well, it sounds good. That's what I said. <laughs> Are you surprised the reaction you get from all these people here? Well, not now. I mean, I was surprised maybe after a, a year or so. I thought maybe it would uh, die down, but it seems to be getting stronger and stronger. So now I'm, quite, I'm used to it, in a way. And do you think they'll ever bring it back? Uh, yes, I do. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt it'll come back, because television needs programmes, and if they're going to have hundreds of channels, they're going to have Doctor Who on one of them. If it comes back, would you do it again? Yes, if they asked me. If they didn't ask you, and they asked someone else who yeah. was eccentric and uh, stylish... Um, like yourself? Do you think they would offer it to me? Well, you know, I hope not. <laughs> I want the job. <laughs> That's his opinion, but what do the fans think? <laughs> Yeah, 
surprise. Okay, thank you, Steve. It's competition time again. Steve came back with uh, ten of these anniversary collectors Doctor Who tins, which uh, contain oh, what are they? Oh, two, two Doctor Who videos, Remembrance of the Daleks and the Chase, and an audio tape, The Paradise of Death. We're going to give them away in a simple competition. All you have to do is answer this question. Which actor played the third Doctor Who? Right, if you know that, and I don't think I do, uh, call 0891, what well, if I think about it five minutes, I might, 0891 33.